The team wore the Ukrainian national colors, blue and yellow. The flags of independent Ukraine were everywhere. In its European Cup match this week, Dynamo Kiev represented all the long-suppressed pride of a former colonial republic about to burst into full nationhood. Their opponents, Benfica of Portugal, were rather unfortunately wearing red jerseys on a week when their hosts were about to bid a final farewell to the Soviet Union. At any rate, the game was dominated by Dynamo Kiev, and they won by one goal to nil. It was taken as a good political omen by the supporters. We'll have a better life in an independent Ukraine. We'll have everything. Russia always promises things, and they also say that the Ukraine will die without Russia. But it's the other way around. We've always been supplying them. We used to live in the Union, and we've got sick and tired of everything. We know what the Ukraine is, we know what we have, and we know what we can do. The referendum on independence is certain to get a massive yes vote. Of the nationalist credentials of Leonid Kravchuk, the incumbent who leads the field in the presidential race, opinion is much more divided. He's a former Communist Party ideology chief who's now gone a full circle in backing independence. Mr. Kravchuk, why is it that you, who opposed Ukrainian independence in your days as a communist, are now fighting this election on the same program as the nationalists? I would like to know when I was speaking against independence. Do you know the exact dates when I made speeches against it? It was Communist Party policy that the Soviet Union should uh, stay as a union. It's one thing to talk about Communist Party policy and another to talk about Kravchuk's point of view. They are two different things. Ever since the coup, the political momentum towards independence has become unstoppable. This weekend, we'll almost certainly see Ukraine heralding its arrival as a new European nation, similar in size to France. And the signals from Washington are that the West may give it due recognition. That would be a humiliating rebuff for Mr. Gorbachev and his fading hopes of presiding over the successor to the Soviet Union. Gabirado, ITN, Kiev.